Hey YouTube, what's going on today? So, I realized that it has been forever since I have uploaded a YouTube video. And I decided that I was going to do that. And I was going to upgrade my my, uh, my video uh, presentation. So instead of using paper and writing where you can see my hands with the uh, low quality lighting that I have, I decided that I was going to purchase a cool, uh, cool tablet and an application on the interwebs to make the video much better. However, uh, my handwriting on this tablet is atrocious, so please bear with me. So today I want to talk about half adders. And there's two types of adders that we use in digital logic. There is the half adder, and then there's the full adder. And we're just going to talk about the half adder today. And there's one very important distinction between the half adder and the full adder. And that is that the half adder only adds two bits. Let me write that down because this is important. Half adder adder only adds two bits. All right. Let me box this in right here. Okay. So let's do a truth table. Okay. Um, I'm assuming that we already know how to add binary numbers, but now we want to understand the circuit and the, um, the circuit representation for the half adder. So let me do a truth table. Let's, we're going to have our uh, variables. Or we're gonna, okay, we can only add two bits, and those two bits we're going to call A and B. Our A and B are two-bit variables, and then we're going to have a, uh, an output, which is a carry, and then our second output, which is a sum. All right, and I like to use different colors so we can understand what's going on a little bit better without any confusion. All right, so let's let's do all the possible combinations for A and B. We know that there is zero and zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, one, okay. And let's do the column for carry. Well, we know that carry, we only get a carry when we add two or more ones. That's only true here and false on the other three rows. And we know that we get a sum when we add an odd number of ones. So that's only true here and false elsewhere. All right, so let's talk about this truth table real quick. Let me box it in. Okay, so we add two bits, A and B. Well, we add zero plus zero, and we get a carry of zero and a sum of zero. Makes sense. And then we add zero and one. Zero plus one is equal to one, which is our sum, and we don't carry. And 1 plus 0 is the same thing, carry of 0 and a sum of 1. And then we add 1 plus 1, and we get a carry of 1 and a sum of 0. So this all makes sense. All right, now let's do an algebraic expression for this. So we can visually see that s is equal to a prime b or a b prime. All right, and then uh, carry c is even easier. It looks like that's just going to be equal to a and b. All right, so now we've just derived our expressions, our algebraic expressions, for the half adder. And this, these two expressions fully explain the half adder circuit. But let's, uh, let's take more time and talk about the circuits. And I'll draw them right here for you. Well, it looks like this for S, we're going to use red again. S, it looks like two AND gates connected together via an OR gate. And please excuse my bad handwriting. It's only going to get better. And it looks like our inputs are A prime B and A B prime. And I'm using the, uh, I'm assuming that we have uh, variables and their complements provided to us. That's why I have inputs like a prime and b prime. All right, and then carry is just a and b. That's easy. A and b. Okay, so that is actually the circuit within our half adder. That's all that's going on within the half adder. Pretty simple, huh? Okay, and now. When we draw half adders uh, on paper, when we're trying to uh, explain to someone how the half adders are operating, we don't actually draw these circuits, right? That would be a lot of work. And 
us engineers, uh, computer engineers, electrical engineers, you know, whatever type of engineer you are, we are creatively lazy. So we decided to draw this little box right here. And we call it the half adder, or HA for short, half adder. And we have two inputs. We have A and we have B. And then we have our sum right here, which is S, S. And then our carry, which is C, right? So these two, this circuit combination, and then this little box, this box is just a condensed circuit. So we have two inputs, A and B, we add them together, and we can have a sum, and we can have a carry. And this is really all that's going on within the half adder. And on uh, my next video, I will show you how to combine half adders. And this is very useful because uh, let's say we wanted to add a 8-bit a number together and uh, increment it by 1. We're going to add 1 to an 8-bit number. Well, we actually have to have 8 half adders and then increment, and then each uh, one will carry over and propagate to the next half adder. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about. But this is just the single half adder, so I hope I explained it well, and please subscribe and stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.